Well, let's record that and let us hide that. So do you guys see that I have drawn nine square dots? Yes? Yes. Right? Can you um, define the array for me? Who can define that array? You can actually name it by its dimensions. Does anybody know a good way to define it? I mean, you could say nine dots, but that doesn't define the ray. Jeremy? Three by three. Yeah. Guys, it's a three by three. So how many dots are there, Avery? Um, there are nine. Exactly. What do you mean? Exactly. There are nine dots. Now, if I said to you, let's draw, and I don't want you to do it right now. We're going to draw a right isosceles triangle through each and every dot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, if the rules are that the triangles cannot overlap and they cannot touch each other, how many triangles was, were, was I able to create? Nine. It, it's nine, right? Now guess what? Is that the most triangles I could create as long as each triangle hits a dot? That's the most, right? So the most triangles I could create are nine. What if I said to you, what are the fewest? What are the fewest triangles? But I'm gonna change the rules. So the rules that I'm gonna change now are this. Every single triangle has to touch three dots. So every, you, you're not allowed to do this. Every single triangle has to touch three dots. And the way this puzzle works, guys, Aaron, you, you're looking at this, you're thinking about this, Aaron? I want you, I wanna see your eyes. The way you need to be thinking about this is what is the fewest, what is the fewest number of triangles that I could draw and touch all of the dots? And if you get the fewest triangles, you win the puzzle. So let's start out with something a little bit easier. Let's start out with let's say we start with an array. It's a little silly to say it, but a one by one array. Are we allowed to create a triangle like that? Because it doesn't touch three dots. So guess what? And we're looking at a one by one array. What is the smallest number of triangles touching all the dots? The answer is zero. zero. It's, no, well, actually it's impossible. So the minimum number of triangles equals zero. Now let's do something else. I want everybody to go to page one. Page one, right here. And if you go to page one, I want you to look at the two by two array. Do you guys see that I defined this point right here as A1? Yeah. And Sabrina, I'm gonna circle this one. Can you tell me what that is? Um, Come on, A2. name. Yes, that is A2. Brennan? Uh, B1. And Jeremy? Detail. Very nice. 
Now, I want you guys to draw. I want you to draw isosceles right triangles to, that goes through all four of these points. But you have to do the fewest that you can do. Remember, the rules are you're not allowed to overlap. That's no good. And you're also not allowed to have the triangles touch each other. So I'm going to put a little, a little X through this. They can't overlap. They can't touch each other. And the other thing they can't do is they can't go through just one dot or even two dots. They have to go through three dots. So I gave you six different ones that you could try. Why don't you try now and see if you could do it with the fewest number of triangles? And Brennan, if you have one solution, see if you could find a second solution. Oh, I would, I thought it was impossible since. Wow, it's, yeah. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll give you one little hint. It's not impossible. And I don't want Avery, if you have one solution, try to find a second one. Because I want Aaron and Jeremy and Sabrina to have an opportunity to make this work. I was going to say, say the same thing as Brennan because it like um you it, you you can split the square in half this way, but then they would both be touching. So it's very it interesting. This is a, this is not way. this is not an easy exercise. This is not an easy exercise. And Sabrina, I don't see you. Are you there with us? Okay, good, good, mm -hmm. good, good. And Jeremy, do you want to give us any of your ideas? I just realized it didn't work. Ah, I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun when you see what I do, but I don't want to do it yet. I wanna see if you could keep trying. That's why I gave you six of them to try. Oh, by the way, you're allowed to go outside of the square array. Oh. You're allowed to go outside. You don't have to stay inside it. So Aaron, what have you come up with? So I haven't figured it out. Say again? So I haven't figured it out yet. Okay, what about you, Sabrina? Um, I don't really get it. Well, let me ask you a question, Sabrina. In my, if I do this, everybody look up. If I connect A1 to B2 to B1, What's what what is wrong with that? Have I hit have I hit have, have I hit all the dots? No. No. Am I allowed to do this? No. 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 Let let me ask you an, an, another question. Am I allowed to do this? No. No. Because remember we said they can't touch each other mm -hmm. and they can't mm -hmm. overlap. So guess what? Mm -hmm. These solutions are no good. No good. No good. Are you ready to see the solution? Jeremy, do you have it? Um, Hi Roman. Hey, buddy. Oh, Jeremy, I just lost you, buddy. I just, did I lose him? Uh, oh, no, no, I got him back. I got him back. Oh, and I have Raymond. Hello. 
And I have Amy. How you doing, buddy? So let me explain this. And I don't see Amy right now. And I'm sure that's maybe Tess. But it's said, yeah, that is Tess. So Tess, change your name. So to those who came late, here's what we've been doing. The, the challenge is to take an array like this, two by two array. And our job is to hit every one of the four dots with an isosceles right triangle. So for instance, do you see Roman, how we hit A1, B1 and B2? But guess what? We couldn't hit A2. And you're not allowed to do a triangle like that because it doesn't hit all three points. You're also not allowed to either overlap or touch the other triangle. So we would say there are two triangles there, but we're not allowed to do that. Is there any way that you guys can see creating a triangle that hits all four. Go ahead, Jeremy. Well, a line of a, um, the first dot down. Can, can you name it as A1? Say, Mr. Kramer, go above A1. Above A1, down to B1. Hey guys, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Did we just solve the puzzle? Yes. How many triangles did we have to use? One. Only one. Our job is to use the fewest triangles possible and we were able to do it. A one by one was impossible, but the minimum number of triangles and a two by two array was two triangles. Now, I want to ask you guys a question. Did we stay inside the square or did oh. we have to go outside? Go outside. So you can actually write down outside. So I want you guys to write down next to the two by two on page one, two triangles and then the word outside because we had to go outside. Did everybody write that down? And Roman, it's gonna be hard for you unless you pick up your pencil and write it down. So please try to do that. Thank you. Yeah, go get, go get, a, go get paper and pencil and- Jelly on? I'm sorry, buddy? Jelly on? We're on page one. Just go to page one. And Roman, thank you for asking that question. Now, I want everybody right now to go to page two. Everybody go to page two. Now, on page two, we are gonna try to do the same thing with a three by three array. You do not have to draw the array. I did it for you. All you have to do is start drawing a bunch of isosceles right triangles to see what is the fewest triangles you can create and hit all nine points. And I'm gonna give you guys a little hint. There are two different ways to solve this. One of the ways is inside and the other way is outside of the array. So Roman, show me your pencil, buddy. Show me, pick up your pencil. Good, now start writing. Start writing and to see if you can create 
an isosceles right triangle. By the way, this is what an isosceles right triangle looks like. So Avery, Avery, if you found one solution, try to find the second solution. There are two solutions. So don't stop at one solution. And I'll draw both solutions for you. Oh. Raymond, are you working this? Okay, I want to be able to see you writing. Has anybody come up with both solutions? So Avery, what did you come up with, buddy? I didn't come, I, I came up with the one that goes outside, but I haven't come up with the one that goes, that's inside. Well, I want you to tell me how you created the one that goes on the outside, please. You go, so A1, B1, and C. So um, A1, B1, and C1 are straight or here. How, how should I, yeah, like that. And then, and then the other one hits um, B2. Well, it can't hit B2 because it can't Oh, oh B, touch. no, B3, B, B3, Got it. B3, and A3. No, B3 and A3. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that around. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did. And then it, and then it kind of crosses out two and three. Or so you guess make what, the guys? The top do you three. see what Avery accomplished? Why don't everybody draw that? Everybody draw that right now. And that is the minimum number of triangles. So Avery, what is the minimum number of triangles you could use? Two. Exactly. Now the question is, and by the way, guys, this solution was two triangles and it was on the inside. It was not on the outside, but well, I well, want well, to challenge on my you. Draw, on, my, on my drawing, I went outside, but yeah, still you can make it inside or outside with that triangle. Well, I don't think you can make this one going no, I'm talking outside. About the, I, I'm talking about the other one. Okay. I, I made that cross out the top one, two, and no, two and three at the top. Now, who thinks they know how to do the outside one? The outside one is really cool. Brennan? Okay. So uh, How high uh, above A1 should I start? Um, like, um, like, uh, and if anybody wants to help, Tess, I can't see you. I've asked to start your video a few times. See if we can get you back. Uh, um, well, a little above uh, the one. You mean A1? Okay, and then? Um, yeah, and then, well. Now, Brennan, does that work? No. Roman, does that work? Because then we would have to have a triangle like this and a triangle like that, and we're not allowed to have those triangles. So, Brennan, that was a really good try. Does anybody else have a different way to start that first triangle? Come on, somebody, somebody take a chance. All right, guys, are you ready? Tess, can you come, can you acknowledge that you are with us? I want you to unmute yourself and show video, please. And that way I know you're with us. All right, still don't see Tess or hear Tess. I'm gonna try one more time. 
ask to unmute. Okay, are you guys ready? Take your pencil and go two dots above A1. Not one dot, but two dots. And watch what you can create. Do you see how you hit A3 with the diagonal? And then we can start at A2 to B2 to B3. And that is a second way on the outside to create a two triangle solution. Everybody draw that. Everybody draw that. Got it? Sabrina, are you able to draw this, honey? Mm-hmm. Good, yeah. good, good, good. Now, guys, I tried the solution that Brennan tried and it just didn't work. So I wasn't able to do that. Now, I also want to point out another thing. Are you guys ready? Mm-hmm. Look at my C my B1 to C1 to C2, everybody look up, B1 to C1 to C2. And then I want you to look at this one here that goes from A1 to A3 to C3. Do you understand that, that we, uh, this is not a separate solution, that that solution and that solution are the same. You guys understand that? Mm -hmm. These Mm -hmm. two solutions are the same. So it's only when you change the entire diagram that it really comes alive. Now, Let's go to the next one. Everybody go to page three, please. And your job now is to work with a four by four array. And I'm gonna give you a few hints. There is only one solution and you are required to go outside. Now I've given you four different pictures that you can use. I hope that everybody is trying it. And remember, it might have two two, uh, triangles or it might have more, but you want the fewest number of triangles you can have. And I'm gonna try you one of my, I'm gonna show you one of my failed attempts. Would you like to see a failed attempt? Mm -hmm. Do you know why this is a failure? Because it's got a single dot in the middle. So that one is no way. It does not work. And I actually like to have many failures on my way to success. Tess, you raise your hand. Found an answer. Oh, great. Now, Tess, I can finally see you. Can you keep your video on and keep yourself unmuted? Is that a yes? I need to hear yes. Yes. Excellent. Okay. What was your solution? Tell me how to find it. So, above A1. What about, what about above A1? How far oh, above A1? Start, like, at the one. Okay. And then go all the way down to D1. Everybody watch this. Everybody watch this. This is exciting. Keep going. 
And then do um the three points inside, do a triangle for add C1, C3, and B2. You mean B2, C2, and C3? Yeah. And finally? A3, A4, and B4. Oh, my God. I am... Guys, everybody look at that beautiful diagram. Give her a round of applause. That was cool. Everybody write that out right now, please. <clears throat> now, just so you know, I am going back to page two to record this. I'm going to record. Nope. Tess had to use three triangles. And she had to go outside. Now I'm trying to find a pattern here. With a yeah. three by three, we use two triangles. With a four by four, we use three. Who thinks they have an idea about how many triangles for the five by five? Brennan, what's, what's your conjecture? Four, because each time, um, there's um, the number of triangles is one less um, than than the like total number. Like and five. remember, the two by two was one triangle that went outside. But I'm going to challenge you to do it in three triangles. So Brennan said four, and I think Brennan has a good reason for saying four, but I wanna challenge you to do three triangles for the five by five. Everybody go to page four right now. Everybody go to page four where you see the five by five. Now, I'm gonna give you a hint. The hint on the five by five is that there are two solutions and both of them you have to go outside. All right, so those are my hints. Let's see you guys do it. Tess, do you have a question? Or do you have both, do both solutions? solutions have, do both solutions have three triangles? Both solutions, well, I'm going to have to say maybe, because remember, Brennan said four triangles, but I think you should try to do them in three triangles. That was a great question, Tess. And, and Raymond, what are you doing, buddy? Are you writing? I Did thought you come up? of the first solution, which uses three triangles. You found it? Yes. Awesome. Now try for the second one. And 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 um uh, Roman, Roman, could you please pick up your pencil and try like everybody else? Because it's so much fun when you get to try something, you can really do amazing things. Hard work really pays off and you're gonna find that out and then you're gonna be really excited. Avery, what did you come up with? Um, well, I did come up with a solution. Remember from last week, we have to find the um, um, permutation for eight? Yes. I did that. But there were only 22. And how many did I say there were? I think you said 30. You know, I, I can't remember right now, but you know what? If you, if you have your 
mom or dad take a picture of it and send it to me, I will check it and see if it works. Okay. Okay, buddy. Thanks. You're yeah. welcome. You're welcome. And Aaron, what'd you come up with? So, I started at A1 and then went down and then. Did you start at A1 or above A1? At A1. I didn't go. Okay. So you didn't go outside? Yeah. Okay. I'll be really interested to see if you could do this because I couldn't do it staying inside. Okay. And then? Keep going, Aaron. You have at C2, and then you have one at C2. Totally agree. You have at one at A2. Yeah, but the one at A2, the other way. The other yeah, way. I know, I know, I'm working it. I have to do this in two steps, but can anybody see something that's missing in Aaron's beautiful solution. Um, who sees what's missing? Roman, do you see what's missing? Do you see, do you see which one is missing, Roman? Um, Come on, buddy. Do you see which one's missing? Yes. Say it out loud. A dot. You have to say the dot by its location. Um, Look to the B. B4. Right, so Aaron, you were so close. But remember, Aaron, I said to you, you've got to go outside. So Raymond, I'm interested in your solution now. Go okay. ahead, Raymond. You start above A1, then go to E1, and then go sideways to E, I mean E5, Roman, you should look at this. and right? then back to E1, and then you start another triangle that starts at B2, and then go to D2, then go to D4, then go to B2, and then you start another triangle that goes from a3 to A5 to C5. Guys, everybody give Raymond a big round of applause. That was awesome. That was unbelievably awesome. Now, guess what? Did anybody find the other solution? Remember I told you that there were two? Did anybody find the other solution? It's a little strange. Jeremy, are you raising your hand, buddy? Or are you just, go ahead, buddy. I found one that had four. Oh, you have one that has four. Okay, explain. Um, start at A1 and make a triangle down to E5. Got it. Make a triangle at C2 down mm -hmm. to D3. Right. And then? Um, um, D2. D2. Wait, D2 so is over here. We, we, we already have D2. No, A2. I meant A2. 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 To where? The other way. And got it. And that's exactly what Aaron did, but- And then downwards, downwards one. Right, but we're not allowed to make a triangle that only hits one dot. And that's uh, why- that line, No, the other line out. One. Uh, what do you mean? A to pass, um, one past A5. A5, A5. Yeah, but, but that's not going to hit this 
one in the Senate. Remember Roman pointed out to us that Aaron's solution missed B4. How are you going to get another triangle to hit B4 and not touch the other triangles and hit all three vertices? Um, it's one, like, over here. Um, no, uh, the triangle goes one more, like, one but where, where? But, but, but there's no more dots. There's no more dots to make a triangle. Out of the outside. Yeah, but there's no more dots outside to make a triangle. If you can find some, we can do it. So I would say that we should now look for another outside solution. Are you guys ready? Jeremy, that was a great try. Everybody look at the screen. And I am going to go, I think I'm going to go, let's see. I'm going to go two above. I think this will work, guys. Now, guys, do you see what Mr. Kramer is doing now? Uh, no, I don't like that. I don't like that one. I'm going to go even higher. I'm going to go even higher now. You ready? I think this will work, guys. What do you guys think about that one? Are you ready for the next one? By the way, can somebody tell me who's got a parent talking on the phone in the background so I can mute it? Who's just raise your hand real quickly so I know if it's you and I can mute you. Can anybody tell me who that is? There's a parent talking loudly in the background. Nobody's going to raise their hand. Does somebody hear? Does anybody hear that? Yeah. And, and I think, I'm not sure who it is, but I've asked you to raise your hand just so I, I know who it is. Can Brennan, is it you, Sabrina, Aaron, Raymond, Jeremy, Roman, Avery, Tess? It's definitely no. not me. Not no. me. It's definitely not me. I can't not hear me. I only hear it from the computer. Okay. Okay. So here we go, guys. Do you guys see the third triangle now? Yes. Yes. And the third triangle goes from A3 to C3 to C5. How many triangles did I just use? Three. Three. So everybody now go back to page two where we are recording our solutions. So what was really interesting is that Brennan, that Brennan was, his conjecture was a good one, but remember the five by five had three triangles, three triangles, and but they're both on the outside. They were both on the outside. Ah, I figured out who it was. Okay, great. Now, everybody now, please go to the next six by six. But before you go to the six by six, what do you think? How many triangles do you think there will be for six by six? Avery, what do you think? I think four because three, yeah, I just think four. Well, I'm going to write down four right here. And I'm going to write down inside and outside. You can create an inside solution 
and an outside solution with four triangles. But I'm not going to show you how. You have to go to page five now and try it yourself. And if I were you, I would try the inside solution first and then the outside. And it's a lot of fun to try. So Roman, I would pick up your pencil, go nearer to your paper, go to page five and start exploring a solution. And remember, the only way you could try this is to pick up your pencil, Roman. So let me see your pencil. Let me see it in your hand. Now, apply it to the paper. Make it make marks on the paper that look like triangles and see if you can come up with a solution. So it looks like Raymond and Tess came up with a solution. And Aaron, can you try now, all of you, to find the second solution that goes on the outside? Raymond, try to find the second solution, the one that goes on the outside. And I think these solutions are beautiful. Sabrina, did you find the inside solution yet? Good. Can you describe it for me? Um, so um, the triangle starts at A1 and uh, goes down to F. So, um, and then, yeah, like that. And then there's a triangle inside of it from C2. Wow, beautiful. And then another triangle. Um, starting from where? Starting from A2. And, and I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to turn that around. Mm -hmm. And anything remaining? And then a triangle from B4. And then turn that around like that. Oh my God. Did, and Raymond and Tess and Aaron were those, and Brennan, was that the same solution you got? And Jeremy? Yeah, it was the and same it, solution I got. Guys, you did it. Four triangles. Now, who was able to do the outside solution? Who was able to do the outside solution? Raymond, explain to me how you did it, buddy. Okay. I started up above a one, one dot, and then, and then okay. connected being O, F1, and then went sideways to being O, F6, and then sideways. Now, Raymond. Then go back. from From B2? Then you did B2? Yeah. But Raymond, what about this one in the middle here? Okay, I'm gonna do this again and then show But wait a you minute. Now guys, everybody watch this. Everybody watch this. What wait, if I, I go it. who who I who think I got it? Who's that? I it's it's me, Avery. Avery, go for it, buddy. No, I think it's one. Avery, you're you're covering the microphone, buddy. Oh sorry. Um Oh, okay. Um, it starts at it starts at the one. It goes down to um, it goes down half. Is anybody else having trouble hearing Avery? 
Yeah, Avery, I think you're covering the microphone by accident, which sometimes happens. I don't um, know what is happening. Now, Avery, did you say to start two above A1? Yes. And, and tell me what to do now. And the, yeah, that, that's, um, then do a triangle inside that. From A2 to E2 to E6. And then do another triangle like that, and then do the triangle at the top. And everybody, if you noticed what Avery accomplished, he literally came up with a four triangle solution that is outside the box. Pretty unbelievable. Pretty unbelievable. Now, guys, we already know that our conjecture was right. Let's go back to page two. Everybody go to page two, please. And I want you to look at page two and tell me, do you now see a pattern? You know that it went one, to two, three, and three. And then it, can you guys hear me? Yeah. And of. then it went to two, three, three, and four. How many triangles do you think will be required for number seven? Five. Tess, what five. do you think? Five. You think five. I think it's four because it was three, three, and then four. Uh-oh, I am gonna have to agree with both of your logic. Let's see what we come up with. Is it gonna be five or four? Everybody now go to page six where we have the seven by seven. <laughs> And the only hint I'm going to give you is that there are two solutions and they're both outside. Two solutions and they're both outside. And everybody should be working really hard now to try to solve this. Uh-oh, Mr. Kramer failed on that one. Huh.
Avery, what'd you come up with? Um, I came up with um a uh, um a, like the one at the top um down to or past the G and then up back to the A. Um, I I don't really know. Well, where did you start? How many above A1? I did very high past A1 and down past G7 and then went back up again. And then I did the triangle um, in between that and then I did that and then, and then I did the triangle um, at A4 So is that what your first triangle looked like, the one I just made on the bottom? Um, did I just show you? Yes, please. Oh, interesting. That triangle isn't really a triangle though. It kind of makes a curve, it kind of makes a loop. So triangles have to have three straight edges. So I think that was a really great attempt, but I'm not sure that that's a triangle per se. But I'm trying something here. And I think I might've come up with, yep. Yes. Lower down the thing I made, I erased some of it and turned it into this. Try it. Try it. Tess, go ahead. What, what's your idea, Tess? Uh, I just figured out the one you figured out on the top. You did. Fantastic. How many triangles? Um, five. That's right. How many triangles are in Mr. Kramer's second solution? Who, can, who thinks they can do that? That's five, that's right. So guys, whoever said that the next one was five was absolutely correct. The seven by seven has five triangles and they are both on the outside. Now, who wants to take a guess at eight by eight? This will be the last one we do. Roman, why don't you take a guess? I wanna hear from you your conjecture about how many triangles for the eight by eight. Go buddy. You have to unmute yourself so we can hear you. You'll, you'll have to unmute yourself, like hit the space bar so we can hear you. Excellent. Um. So we did two, three, three, four, and then five what? Does, does anybody want to help out? Anybody have an idea? Sabrina, what do you think? Jeremy? I do. I do. Go for it, Roman. Um, maybe we should do... Um, How many, buddy? Five. All right, everybody yell out their number. Go ahead. Six. 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 Right. Six. I am going to challenge you to do it in five triangles. Go ahead. Oh, Roman, that's awesome. Now, everybody go to page seven right now. Quickly, go to page seven. And let's see how we do the eight by eight. And by the way, there's only one solution there's only one solution and it's outside. So it's one solution and it's outside.
And the only little hint is that there's one solution and it's on the outside. And our job is to do it in five triangles. I don't feel on course. Oh. Please, please, please. Oh. I don't feel on course. Please, please, please. 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 Um, so start at the one. You mean one above A1? Yeah, one above A1. Go for it. And go down to H. <gasps> and then do it from 3A and go down to F8. So A3 down to F8, and I'll have to turn that around. Uh-oh, that didn't work. I went, I must have gone too far. Keep going, Tess. And then B5 to D7. Okay, keep going, Tess. And B2 to G7. And then D3. D3 to F5. Wow. Guys, now you would not believe it, but this was in a high school math competition. This question. And you guys did such an amazing job because you guys can think outside the box. And I'm so proud of you. So I want everybody to say goodbye to your buddies. Bye. Bye. Say goodbye to your friends. Bye. 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 See you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.